Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Bluetooth audio into your 2009 BMW 535i with xDrive. Now this process should be similar for most E60s that are post facelift. Originally I wanted to show you guys how to install it using one of these modules which would basically be hardwired into your radio unit so you'd always have Bluetooth and also have your aux port free but unfortunately this method didn't quite work. Let's get into what the cheap and easiest way to do this is. So this is a USB powered Bluetooth module that plugs into your USB port and your aux port so it's super easy to install install and I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to need to do is open up your center console on your E60 or E61 and then access where your auxiliary cable is and yes it's quite filthy I have not really driven this car in years and it needs a good detail but right here you've got a USB port and an auxiliary port so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and just plug them in. There's many of these on Amazon and eBay and everywhere else you can find them and I'll leave a link in the description below to where I bought mine. So this will come in a package like this. So once you have it out of the package, we'll plug the USB in first and then we'll plug in the auxiliary cable. All right, and once it's plugged in, it'll kind of look like this and it will be loosened. Doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your center console if you use it. Clearly I don't use mine. And we're just gonna put our keys in the ignition and then just put the ignition on. And then we're gonna try to connect to this via Bluetooth. And the good thing is on these E60s and E61s is that these USB ports don't turn on until the ignition is on. So let's go ahead and find this in our phone and then connect to it via Bluetooth. Okay, so we're going to look at our Bluetooth. And we should see it in available devices coming up soon. And it will show up as Ugreen. It should pair without a code. All right, it's paired and connected. Now let's test this out. So in order to test this out, we're going to go down to Entertainment and iDrive. And this is a CCC unit. And we're going to go up to... Uh, the aux because this is now taking over the aux port and we will start playing music since i couldn't record and play music from my uh galaxy i'm just going to use my iphone here and we're going to connect and play some music it looks like it's working let's see if i can crank the music from the, the stock here perfect so there you go. That's the route I recommend going, especially if you have an older CCC unit like this and you want to eventually upgrade to like an Android head unit or a CIC. This is the cheapest and easiest way to do it. Otherwise, pulling your radio, things can get scratched or dropped and it's a bit of an annoying process. This is easily reversible and doesn't involve any type of guesswork, which is really awesome. So I would recommend going this route if you wanted to have Bluetooth uh, for music in your E60 or E61. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe because I'll have more DIYs coming up. And remember, as always, to keep it foul.